Bruce mentioned the personal, and I know that's uh, been, been a theme that you've been talking about for many years now of the importance of, of uh, the relationship we have with one another and uh, the, the, the havoc that individualism has, has um, caused in, in the Western world. If, if I'm a pastor and I'm trying to minister to my people, but I have, whether a large congregation or a small congregation, too many needs, not enough time, I'm stretched thin, too many responsibilities, and yet, and yet I'm convinced that I, uh, my ministry needs to be moving towards this, this um, life on life. How does, one, how does one do that? How do, how do, how do you suggest a pastor enter into a, a way of life that's going to be uh, able to particularize the people that he or she's ministering to? Well, I think we live in a culture of workaholism. Mm. And so what I do determines who I am. And that mentality is therefore making ministry very self-conscious for us. Uh, so naturally, if we can be more un unconscious, self-forgetful about who we are and what we're doing, uh, then the whole role of being personal is not eclipsed. But the personal is eclipsed by the official or the professional attitudes that we have. So it's a change of attitude. Um, but I think it's also an awareness that we ourselves are in a major cultural change because I think the 20th century was the uh, century both of the rise but also the graveyard of ideologies, that you belong to an ism, and this is all there is, ism, whether it's Marxism or socialism or fascism, tragically so, but even evangelicalism mm -hmm. uh, or Catholicism these are all, in a sense, having an identity by association. Mm -hmm. uh, the 21st century has got disenchanted with that. And so part of the uh, malaise that we're feeling is the disenchantment with the human sciences not being human enough. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a consequence of that uh, reaction that we're facing, then, of course, the iPod and everything else is I, I, I with uh, the Apple and every other tech industry. So the tech revolution has uh, in intensified our individualism, mm. but it could also maturely be very fruitfully more individuation. Mm. And so when the Christian is much more responsible for his own Christianity, and he doesn't go to the pastor for his soul as he goes to the tax uh, accountant for his taxes or to the lawyer for his legal uh, counsel, when we get away from that mentality, then I think that there'll be a robust uh, revival of Christian life as being much more virile, a personal life. Mm. But of course, the personal life has also got its own mystery to it, that uh, basically the tension of I myself, ipsi, as the Latin has it, uh, has to be somehow in correlation with the item, the same as. Well, the last generation was much more concerned about being the same as. Uh, this generation is going to be much more reactionary to the Ipsy. <laughs> so how in that tension uh, is the Christian to operate? <clears throat> and what is personal is that you introduce a new verb that you might call othering. Mm -hmm. That I'm the self as the other, as Paul Ricoeur has expressed it in one of his books. And uh, I think that whole uh, awareness that my identity is uh, in tension between the unique self and at the same time the relational self. Mm. Mm.